This is Dent News Network headline news in three minutes for Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. The attorneys general of 13 states and Washington, D.C. this week expressed support for a federal lawsuit by the Mexican government that accuses a group of American gun manufacturers of facilitating the trafficking of weapons to criminals in Mexico, fueling gun violence. In a brief file in federal court in Massachusetts, the Democratic attorneys general, including those in California, Massachusetts, Minnesota, and New York, big surprise, argued against the defendant's motion to dismiss the case, saying the federal law providing legal protection to gun manufacturers does not apply in this case. The defendants, among them brands like Smith & Wesson, Colt, and Glock, pointed to the law as one argument in an effort to have the case dismissed. If you want to go after somebody trafficking guns to Mexico, look no further than the United States government. Again, lawsuits like this are, are like suing car manufacturers for DUI accidents and fatalities. It's ridiculous. And this is just another tool, another way for Democrats to go after our gun rights and take them away. China is threatening retaliation against the U.S. after the Biden administration Monday announced sanctions against two Chinese government officials over continued human rights abuses against the country's minority Uyghur population, which are primarily primarily Muslim. The Department of Treasury sanctioned the Secretary of the Party Committee of the Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps and the Director of the Xinjiang Public Security Bureau. The department said the pair connected to serious human rights abuses against ethnic minorities in that province, which reportedly includes arbitrary detention and severe physical abuse, among other human rights abuses targeting Uyghurs, a Turkic Muslim population indigenous to Xinjiang province. The United Kingdom, the European Union, and Canada also imposed similar sanctions. Beijing hit back with punitive measures against the EU, targeting European lawmakers, diplomats, nonprofit organizations, and institutes, and restricting them from entering and doing business in China. This has been going on for years. Last year, the U.S. determined that their treatment of these people amounted to genocide and crimes against humanity. The Chinese are rounding these people up and putting them in what they call re-education camps. But many people believe that these Muslims are being exterminated in these re-education camps. And yet the world sits idly by. And as I'm sure you've heard by now, good old President Joe Biden on Monday warned that the world is at an inflection point. One that occurs every three or four generations. As one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946, Biden said. And since then, we've established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. Biden warned that now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to. There's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it, Biden said. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. Can you imagine Biden's new world order? There's something coming, all right, and I'm not so sure that it's order. I think more than likely, it's chaos. I hope you've prepared accordingly. This has been Net News Network, headline news in three minutes. For more, visit netnewsnetwork.net. Thanks for listening.